Hello there, Mr. Sutton with the IM23 Honors 38 Homework Solutions on Circles in the Coordinate Plane. For number one, we just want to write the equation of the circle with the center 4, 3 and a radius of 2. Uh, since we already have the center and the radius, we'll just write the, the center radius general form here. x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So this will then be x minus 4 quantity squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 2 squared, which is just 4. For number 2, we're trying to write the equation of this circle. We'll start with the uh, general center radius form, x minus h squared, y minus k squared, and r squared. h value here is the x value of the center, 6, so x minus 6 squared, plus, I guess we could write y minus 0 squared, but let's just do y squared, equals radical 15 squared, which is just going to be 15. For number three, we're trying to write the equation of a circle whose center is 2 comma 3 and which passes through 5 comma 6. Let's start with our circle center radius formula here. Uh, we have the x and y value of the center, 2 and 3, so let's plug that in for h and k. Next, we don't know the radius, but if we plug in this other point for x and y, we can find the radius. So we'll write 5 minus 2 squared plus 6 minus 3 squared equals r squared. So that's going to be 3 squared plus 3 squared, or, nine, or 18 rather. That's our r squared value. And then we just have to plug this r squared back in right here. So we've got x minus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 18. For number 4, we're trying to find the equation of a circle whose center is 2 comma 8 and that passes through 7 comma 5. Here's our center radius formula to start us off. Let's go ahead and plug in the center. So we'll have x minus 2 squared plus y minus 8 squared equals r squared. To find r squared, we're now going to plug 7 and 5 in for this x and y. Uh, we know the circle is going through this point, so 7 and 5 are part of this equation here. So we have 7 minus 2 squared and 5 minus 8 squared equals r squared. So 5 squared plus negative 3 squared equals r squared. That's 25 plus 9, which comes out to 34 for r squared. And plugging the r squared back in right here, we've got x minus 2 squared plus y minus 8 squared equals 34. For number 5, we want to graph the circle whose equation is given here. Let's start by getting our center, which will be 3 comma negative 2. So that's right down here. And the radius will be the square root of this number, so square root of 4, which is 2. So we're going to go 2 in every major direction. So going up 2, right 2, down 2, and left 2. And then just connect the dots. And there's our circle. On number 6, we're trying to graph this circle. So our center then will be negative 2 comma, negative 4, using that equation. So that's down here. Radius will be the square root of this number over here, so the square root of 1, which also happens to be 1. So we're going 1 in every direction. So that's going to be up 1, right 1, down 1, and left 1, and connect the dots to give us our circle. For number 7, we want to graph this equation, which is a circle. So for our center, we've got 2 comma 3. Radius will be the square root of 4, which is 2. So 2 comma 3, that's up here. We're going 2 in every direction. So that's up 2, right 2, down 2, and left 2. And connect the dots. And there's our circle. For number 8, they want us to write this equation in center radius form for a circle, and then give the center and radius. So we're going to complete the square. Uh, in order to do that, we first need to subtract 25 to the other side. And let's see, the y's are already together, so we don't need to move anything else around on the left side. Now, for completing the square, x squared, this is as good as x is going to get. We don't need to do anything special with x. But because we have a y squared and just a y variable here, we need to complete the square for y in order to get one of those squared parentheses. So the magic number here, half of negative 12 will be negative 6. 
So we're going to add negative 6 squared to both sides. That's going to give us x squared and y minus 6 squared on the left. On the right, we've got negative 25 plus 36, which is 11. And then our center, that'll be 0 comma 6. And then for the radius, that's just going to be the square root of 11. For number 9, if this equation is written in this form up here, we want to know the value of r. Um, so to do this, we need to complete the square for x and y, and essentially put this in center radius form for a circle. For the x's, we need half of 6, and then we're going to square that, so 3 squared. For the y's, half of negative 8 is negative 4. We're going to square that. And we're going to add all those things to the other side as well. So we're going to have 56 plus 3 squared, which is 9. Uh, so that'll come out to, well, actually, let's just write it down first. So we got 3 squared and 4 squared added to 56. All right, so let's factor things on the left side. This will be x plus 3 squared, y minus 4 squared. And over here, we got 56 plus 9 is 65 plus 16 is going to be 81. So since we've got this in center radius form, the radius r is just going to be the square root of this 81, which is going to give us 9. So that would be choice C. For number 10, the graph of the equation below in the xy plane is a circle. Um, they're telling us that. We want to know the radius of the circle. So to figure this out, we need to put this in center radius form by completing the square for x and y. They've already done some of the work for us by putting the uh, x's together, the y's together, and the constants on the other side already. So let's just add the completing the square values for x and y. For x, half of 8 is 4, so we'll add 4 squared to both sides. For y, half of negative 6 is negative 3, so we'll square that and add that to both sides. And then we've got 24 and those two things that we just added on the left also added on the right side. All right, going through and factoring, we've got x plus 4 squared, y minus 3 squared. And on the right side, we've got 24 plus 16 is 40, plus another 9 is 49. So that means r squared is going to be 49, which means that r is the square root of 49, the radius, square root of 49. So that's going to come out to 7.